booty pops. They take a butt from this to this. But Donnie's got the bottom line on whether these American dreamers are ready to make millions. Booty pop. Love it. One of the great names of all time. In tonight's One Minute to Millions, the company in the hot seat is Booty Pop. We're bringing in the expert to put this business on the track to make millions, and we're doing it in less than 60 seconds. Kathleen Kirkwood is president of Kirkwood International, a shapewear and lingerie company, and Ron Simpson is back. So let's find out more about the company in the hot seat, Booty Pop. Hi, Donnie. My name is Susan Bloomstone. And I'm Lisa Reisler. And our product is going to make millions. Billions. Booty Pop panties are panties that make your booty pop. Booty Pop panties gives you that perfect, perky pop. You want to look bootylicious? Wear Booty Pop panties. This is the before. And this is the after. Booty Pop sizes come in sweet, sweeter, and sweetest. It's fun to look at, and it's total eye candy. Booty Pop panties is for everyone. How sweet you'll look with Booty Pop panties. Donnie, Donnie help, help Booty, Booty Pop, Pop panties make millions. millions. I've never felt more of a moral imperative. That's what we're going to do, Susan and Lisa. We're going to help you make those millions. We've got our beautiful friend Renee modeling. Let's do a little before and after of Booty Pop. Before, after, look at that. And basically, what it is, is you take the, these, are, this is underwear, and it's got, I guess, what would be the equivalent of a padded bra, but right. for the buttocks. Exactly. Yep. Love it. Let's get right into it, because we are here to see if we can put you on the path to millions. First of all, the name, how'd you come up with the name? We wanted a name that describes what our product does. So Booty Pop, the panties that make the booty pop. All right, let's get right into it. Kathleen, we like the name, yes or no? Yes. Ron, like the name, Love yes or it. no? Love All it. right, two big yeses. What do we like about it? I like it because it doesn't take the item too seriously. It puts a smile on your face. And I've seen products like this fail because they're too medicinal. It's too sort of a grandma approach. I think Booty Pop says what it is. Okay, Ron? Yeah, I love it. I love the, the packaging. I love everything about it. Um, you guys are on your way. Okay, Booty Pop. Love it. One of the great <laughs> names of all time. We don't have to go through the, the full 60 seconds. Okay, packaging. The packaging right here. Describe the packaging and how you came up with it. Okay, we wanted to um, have something that was fun, candy-oriented, really yummy, eye candy, and something that you could open and close it, easy, accessible, if somebody wanted to look at it. So it's basically like a Ziploc bag, yeah. comes right yeah. in, and the packaging here on the label. Okay, so we've got the Ziploc bag, the packaging. Kathleen, do we like the packaging, yes or no? No. Do we like the packaging, yes or no? No. no. All right, two no's. What don't we like about it? Well, I have a lot of experience in packaging, and you have to tell the person that's walking by that store at that time what you're selling. And I don't think, looking at that, it does look like a candy package to me as a cu customer walking by. I don't know what you're selling, and that's an issue. However, I think there's a quick solution. Those before and afters, even when you open the show, that's the big pow. That's yeah. the wow you want to see. Transform, you have great visuals. I think your photography is wonderful. And just make that on your package so all you can see is that BNA before and after or the pictures and then go for your marketing which is candy and sure. sweet those are all okay, fun Ron, after what do we think? it looks like a sandwich bag to me so I, I'm more inclined to have something a little bit more professional um, when you're gonna be you know get trying to get some money out this you're gonna want to be a little bit more professional yeah I think this is fun I think Kathleen who knows this is your package I mean this is if I see this well not me personally but if I if this is I'm interested yeah. in this product home run this is your packaging some how redesign it. Okay, let's move on. Target audience, who's your target, guys? It's 18 to 25-year-olds, but we realize already there's going to be spillover on each end because we're already getting the reaction from everybody from younger and older saying, can I have one? And we know it's just anyone that wears a padded bra to enhance what they have. Now they have booty pop to enhance their booty. So it doesn't matter what size of booty you have. It only can look better. Kathleen? Yes or no on the target? Yes. Ron, yes or no on the target? Yes. Why do we like that target? Well, um, I think with a product like that, because you're starting with the name Booty Pop, you have to go for a younger audience. And I just got back from styling with, uh, with the, at the Oscars. And a lot of the women want to look younger. And if you're going to sell someone who may be in their 30s and 40s, it's okay that it looks kooky and young because it's safe. It's a safe thing to do. Look at um, playing around. If you start with an, an older market, it, they might be afraid. Yeah. So they'll so dive in when it's young, house. and then you move up. Run. 
I agree, and I actually think that you'll see it. Like they say, that the, the 30s is the new 20s, the 40s is the new 30s, and I think that you could see it actually, your demographic moving up. But I think it's a great guys, start. These guys are right on the money. People usually make a target too broad, 18 to 25, you'll get the 15 year olds, you'll get the 37 year olds right on the money. Price point, what's the price point, guys? $25. 25 bucks. What does a normal pair of panties cost? Depending. I guess you can't even put it in. That's, a, that's an irrelevant mm -hmm. question. Okay, 25 bucks. We like the price, yes or no? Yes. We like the price, Ron? Yes no. or no? No. Why do we like it? I've been selling pads for 25 years, shoulder pads, bra pads, and I know what a good retail is on a pad item, and I think that's fair. It could be a little less, but I think it's a good price. Ron, why don't we like it? I think it's because of the packaging. I think if it was the packaging was a little bit better, I think then you would get that, that price point. Yeah. I'm going to be bold and say you could even go higher. If somebody, want, like, if somebody wants larger exactly. breasts, they're going to pay. If somebody wants a bigger, they're going to to pay for it, you're selling a real emotional solution. So I think you even push the price. Higher. Okay, finally, is this a big, uh, no pun intended, is this a big idea, Kathleen? Yes. Ron, yes. Definitely. I think it's the biggest idea I've ever seen. No, it is a fun idea. I love the name. I think it's fun. You know what you got to do. Go make those millions. Pop those millions out more. Big idea. Straight ahead. Thanks, guys. Good stuff. Thank you.